What's up, Lex One here playing Yardbird. It's been a while since we've played this guy. And he plays this E4, and he also plays this uh, Scotch game, I think, which is kind of boring. So I guess I, I'll do something different, but I don't know what yet. Um, I guess we'll go G6. He plays that with black as well. And this is actually a pretty fun opening. So let's see what he does. I'm kind of interested. Bishop g7 now. c3. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Um, we could go c6. I guess c6 is the way to go here. It's kind of passive. Uh, normally knight c3 or knight f3 are the moves. He really doesn't want to play any any... any normal kind of position I guess. If I take he's gonna take with the knight which is kinda what he wants but I don't really have another way to develop actually so I guess we have to take <coughs> and now knight e7 just to develop our knight to f6. Knight f3 seems like the most logical move here. He could go for queen 2 yeah I was gonna say. So if I go uh, knight f6 here well, this knight, then he can go knight d6 check, which kind of sucks. So I have to move this knight, the other knight. Um, but now knight g5 might be in or yeah. Because now this knight doesn't really have a place to go. Uh, I could go knight, knight d6 here, actually. I guess I uh, knight d5, I mean. Because I need to make some room for my other knight. But this kind of sucks, though. We'll see what he does. Yeah. I was kind of thinking he would do that. Oh, I wasn't really expecting that, though. I don't know. Didn't see it. He could take on... Oh, I really hate this position. <laughs> He's just gonna gonna crush me, it feels like. So he's gonna go h5, and uh, I don't really have any way of countering that. If I go h6, he might take on f7, or take on, or play h5 even, that would be sick. If I go h6, that is, h6, h5, that would really suck, to be honest. Jeez, what else is there? H5 ourselves is possible. Then we could go knight g4 maybe. But the problem when I move this pawn is that he can take on uh, f7 and then g6 becomes a, g6 becomes a problem as well. Wow, boy, this really sucks. Yeah, I guess we. I have to go h5, because otherwise he's going to go h5, but yeah, like I said, um, g6 is now definitely a, a big weakness, and that, that is kind of hard to cope with. Um, our plan now is knight g4, I guess, just relieving the pressure on uh, f7, but pff, it feels like a horrible plan, though. I just don't see anything else. So our little opening experiment went uh, kind of astray. If in any case you were to take on g4, then I'm going to take with the bishop for sure. Um, but I guess he should take on f7. He could also just castle or play f4 maybe. Yeah, I guess I should take on e5 now. But still, e6 is now a problem. Jeez, the problems keep piling up. This That just sucks. Um, and even if I go e6 and j just e g4 is coming. So I, I don't have anything else than to counter here. If c4, then we might be able to take on e2, a2, or play knight b4, I'm not sure. 
which is better. I guess night before might be better though. Um, but I don't think he's gonna play c4. I'm just thinking he's gonna go king b1 here, and just okay. He's gonna go balls out and just try and make me. I have to accept. He's gonna take an f7 now. Is he not? I mean, I have to take. Uh, if I don't take, then what else is there? Okay, this move is kind of nice. I kind of have a feeling that I've had such a position against Yardbird, maybe even, where he went B1 in an older video. I'm not sure. Anyways, it feels like Knight B4 is somewhat of a threat. Definitely after E takes F. Wow, that, that seems like a nice line though. If uh, E takes F, Rook takes F7, Knight takes F7, then maybe Knight, F, knight B4, Knight or Bishop F5. But he just goes G4, that's kind of sick as well. But it is slow though, so we might have some some chance here. I mean, we could go for like a5, a4, a3. We could go b5, b4. That's one move earlier. Uh, there's no real way of trying to take on c3, I think, with either a knight or the bishop. If f6, then probably just g takes h. I want to go a5 here. If he takes on h5, which I guess is the point, I'm gonna go a4. Okay, that's a check, so we have to respond by probably taking. If we go king h8, then he's just gonna take on g6 and mate me, so. Knight takes, and then I. If knight takes, we have bishop f5 actually. So that's kind of good for us. But he can also take on g6 though. And then bishop f5. Wow, this is such a, a weird, funky game. I guess if it takes g6, bishop f5 is actually not that bad. Let's see, if we go bishop f5, he's going to take on f7. King somewhere, king f8. 96 King takes a 7 Yeah Yeah, this feels kind of nice Oh man, okay, there's one issue here <laughs> This sucks Okay, so knight e6 is, I guess, the only move. And if we were to take on f7, then queen h5 would win, because he's going to take on f5. So that really sucks. So now we're just material down, but we still have an attack going, which is nice. And our king is relatively safe. But I, we kind of messed it up. Although we still have some, maybe, drawing chances even. For instance, if we were to take on... Uh, a3, or, or, or this, what's this, I, <laughs> this is mainly one, no? Okay, <laughs> that's kind of weird, okay, um, I am happy with it, I'm really happy with it, but, okay, let's have a look. That was really a funky game. So this g6, um, we've played against this a bunch of times, and um, I used to say in those videos that I, I, I had a foul about this, and I do have one, and I've uh, recently looked at it, I think. But c3 here is definitely weird. Um, knight at 3 or knight c3 are the two main moves. But yeah, c3, I, I don't know what to do. Um, 
there is a choice between either d6 going into some sort of uh, perk c5 which I actually find very attractive and what I played the c6 um, so yeah knight d2 which I don't really understand um, my guess is this setup is something like bishop d3, knight e2, castle f4 or something. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. Either way, um, he's going to take on e4 with the knight. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe it was time for something like knight f6. Although knight f6 e5 is bad. So knight e7 then maybe. But then he can just take... Uh, well, this is fine. So, yeah, knight d7 maybe. But queen e2 still. And this just transposes. So. Yeah, like I said, if I were to. This was my original idea. But knight d6 is very annoying. Um, yeah. It's kind of hard to get our king into some relative safe place. Uh, it takes some time, and that's time we don't really have. So instead, we went for knight f6, the other knight, knight df6, but now knight g5. And what to do here? Well, the, the main problem is this knight, or is this knight going? We could go for knight h6, knight f5, maybe even. That might be the best plan available. Or this knight e5. But I kind of forgot about this knight e5 idea. Because um, it kind of sucks. It, it just has a major mind. We have to... Uh, we have to castle here for sure. Bishop e6 is not an option. Because uh, then this pawn is so weak that... It just sucks so bad. So yeah, castle is the only way. And h4 now. Yeah, that, that, that is quite quite an in, annoying move. Um, the engine just ignores it and goes c5. Which I find strange. I mean, I guess if there's no real other way of coping with it. But I guess h5 is the main point here. And he's just going to take on g6 probably. And this <laughs> this really sucks. As you can see, all sorts of tactics come into play now. Against the computer, this is just resignable, and against the human, this is... In the practical game, this is also probably resignable. I, I, I don't know. Bishop b6. It just feels so... icky. I don't know, h5 seems like the only reasonable way. h6, h5 is is a problem, probably. So takes, takes. This just feels horrible. This rook here on h1 is so good. So I guess h5 is the only way. And now knight g4. Trying to relieve the pressure on, uh, on our king side. So I guess this was the, the idea. And now g6 is weak. That's the problem of h5. But well, maybe it's doable still. Material-wise, we're doing fine. Um, Position-wise, we're doing not so fine, probably. But well, I guess if we were to play bishop f5 and, and just defend all our weak pawns, then we would be doing somewhat fine. I'm not sure about this. Yeah, taking only five uh, is, a, is a whole other problem. I was so happy to uh, relieve the pressure, but yeah, I, sh I should have been more careful, I think. Queen c7, the engine comes up with. Yeah, I don't know. Because now there's, there's quite a problem. e6 is definitely a threat now. So I guess queen f5 is one of the only ideas here. But king b1 seems reasonable enough. He went for e6 immediately. And now we took. So this is kind of the interesting point. If he takes, um, we probably have to take back. And if he takes now, then a check here, I guess. Because king c2 knight b4. 
feels like it should win. For instance, if he takes it to mate, but he has to go king b3. Queen a2, I think. King takes a5, probably. No a5. That's a draw. Okay, take on b2. Okay, yeah, this is a nice mate. So he has to go to a4. Check. Check. Mate. So it takes. Ah, oh, okay. So it takes and then queen a2. Wow, that's ki kind of sick. This is quite a line. <laughs> Just to point out the problems. Um, so that's the line where if he takes, he plays king c2. But he can also go bishop e1, but then bishop f5 is always in the air. And this is kind of the main point of our attack here. But he went bishop b1 first, which is probably a good move. Although still there are threats of knight b4, knight a2. Yeah, and here I was quite interested in what was the what what the main uh, the best idea for black is here. I went a5, a4, a3, but it feels slow. But this g4 is also pretty slow. The engine comes up with b5, which I've I think I've thought about in the game. Because it's one move quicker. So if you were to take here, then b4 is the point. And now taking here, I guess. Or playing that. Yeah, that might be better. Hmm. So rook takes, takes on g6. And then just rook f5. Nothing... There's nothing going on. <laughs> He's just going to take on c3. Yeah, it kind of feels like b5, b4 is the way to go. I went for the slower a5 idea, but... Yeah. But no, well... Now it feels like it's fine. This g4 has an added benefit of defending against bishop f5. For instance, if takes, takes... Knight takes, we can't immediately go bishop f5. We have to go bishop uh, g4 first. Yeah, I don't know. It feels... Well, now white is the idea of bishop uh, queen a2. Okay, so he's going to hold then. So that was the way for him to, uh, to go forward here. But he took on h5, a4, took on f7, takes... And now I guess we have to go rook f8 or rook f5 or something like that. Um, and he can still go queen c4, queen a2. But instead we went for bishop f5, which, because it, it sucks, it's bad, it's a bad move. But I, I missed the idea of uh, queen h5 here, which solves all white's problems. Um... King moves somewhere and he's just going to take on f5. And white wins. So we have to take on e6. And still have some trumps in the form of the, this attack. But now we're just a full rook down. So our attack needs to uh, needs to win. Which it does if he allows main one for sure. But I guess he has to take. Knight takes c3. Yeah, and the king can run actually. And this is definitely not an easy position, by any means. Um, the king is out in the open, but it seems like he's relatively safe on uh, g2. And there's not much I can do here. So this is what he should have done. Instead he went for b4, which just <laughs> wins it once. There are so many ways to win now as well. We could go a2. We could go something like, I don't know knight takes c3 uh, a2 is also winning a, a, at once so I don't know what uh, what went on in his head here I really don't understand yeah okay made him one it's fine so pretty cool game
very interesting crazy game as well so let me know what you guys thought about it and uh, I'll see you guys next time